Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like um, this person is maybe paying other people for information about you or I, there's definitely a person who's watching you, studying you, um, trying to find out as much as they can about you and the more that they hear, the angrier and more jealous they get. This is somebody who's absolutely obsessed with your life. That like They will sit and watch whatever you're posting on the internet for long hours, okay? Um, and I'm seeing this mouse here. Like They've got someone else giving them information. And they could very well be paying somebody um, to get information on you. The, they could even be on the internet. So this could be um, people maybe trying to hack into your info. Somebody is jealous, okay? Very jealous. Yeah, look. And I, these two cards keep coming out in the readings, you guys. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. They want to hear who's in, who you're spending your time with. They want to hear if you have new love. And they want to know how much money you're making. I feel like those two things is what the, this person wants to know. Who are you with? How much money are you making? Yeah, and uh, how are you growing whatever it is that you're growing, okay? I feel like you, um, you may have some kind of public platform or something like that. This person could have recently been blocked on all of your social media, okay? I'm seeing, I'm kind of seeing this Wheel of Fortune as a as a vault door that's closing shut like you won't let this person see your info so they've got to ask other people and I, I feel like too if you're in the public eye in any way that's anything that you do on the internet any kind of social media you have um, I feel like you could be doing something though on, a, on your own like um, spiritual platform public speaking platform that's bringing you a lot of abundance, okay? It's literally um, changing your life, okay? This is a lot of change happening um, and wishes being fulfilled, okay? This person wants to know everything about what you're doing. Yeah, and you know what? I feel like they are paying somebody. They are paying somebody um, to tell them things. And everything that they're hearing, okay, is like... Um, it just gives them this feeling of dread or something. But yet they can't stop watching, okay? They must know. They must know as much information on you as they can. If you don't have this person blocked on social media, they're, uh, they're finding ways to find out about you. They're watching you, possibly under a fake profile. They're being given information on you. Yeah, look, it's putting this person in the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Oh, my gosh. And they're realizing here that they missed out on a huge blessing. Look at everybody. People are watching you, Collective, okay? And I, I'm getting the sense that it, it, it's, a, it's multiple people. They're, they're getting information on you about your love life, about your money, about your business. All up in your business. And this could be um, somebody fairly young that's like stalking you to give get information about you and bring it back to this person. Okay, that you're being observed is what it is. You're being observed. You know, um, They could be, if you have, like, family that you live with, they could be getting information through your family as well or your friends. It could just be, it could be somebody who is close in your inner circle. It's putting this person in a lot of heartache. Um, I feel like they're very emotional. They may be trying to hide how they really, truly feel. This person's in a whole lot of regret as well. I feel like they started a third party. They could be with someone else, this Queen of Swords. And she's watching this person fall apart. I feel like this they're stuck in something. 
it looks like they have um it looks like they're stuck in a third party with this uh queen of swords could be a possible air sign libra gemini aquarius this person that you're dealing with they could be a cancer pisces scorpio she knows that this person is getting information on you or she knows that they're falling apart over you you could be an aquarius a taurus virgo capricorn Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're definitely an earth angel. See, she's she's upset. Okay, here's the thing. I feel like you're a divine being, okay, with the, with the light worker energy out here of the star and the earth angel energy. I feel like you, whoever I'm talking to, you're a light worker. You're an earth angel. And here's the thing about earth angel energy, okay? This person, this masculine, I feel like they must have prayed for you, okay? Because you, you are literally the holy grail couple love. You're a, you're a blessing. And I feel like when you came into this person's life, you touched them at a very deep soul level. You could have triggered this person. You could have scared this person. I'm getting the chills up both of my legs, you guys. You could have um, intimidated this person. I feel like they didn't know what to do with you. Like they didn't know. You kind of blew their mind. All right. And here's the thing. I feel like this person ran from this connection. I feel like they got with this queen of swords or maybe they were already with her at the time. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But man, when you touch an earth angel, you can't forget that energy, okay? There's something about your energy that lingers. It's like residual energy that you can't get rid of, okay? And this, so this person, I feel like the, the longer apart you were, the more in love they fell with you, okay? So they're, they're definitely in love. And I am getting that they prayed for you. I forgot this Four of Cups was out here. So, um, yeah, they did pray for you. They didn't realize you were an earth angel. They didn't realize you were a divine being. You know, this is something they didn't even think about. All they knew is that your energy felt different from anything else they'd ever experienced before. Okay? And that's what an earth angel does. Ooh, guys, I'm getting the chills, like, literally all over me. It feels like my spirit guides are just running their hands up and down my arms now. Um, so, yeah. And I'm even, I'm sitting under a blanket, too. So, <laughs> um, so yes, uh, it's, it's this re residual energy that you leave behind. See, even as you're elevating here, you leave behind all of this residual energy. This is what they can't break. This masculine cannot stop thinking about this. They can't stop feeling this, okay? Um, because you're an earth angel. They had no idea. They prayed for you. They got you. And when they got you, they didn't know what to do with you. It freaked them out, okay? They didn't know what they were feeling. This person didn't, they probably didn't even plan on falling in love with you. Maybe they didn't know what love was, okay? But they sure as heck can't forget about you. So, um, you know, yeah, all this person can do is think about you now. And, and all of this time in separation, right? Because this is no communication, separation. All of this time in separation, they just keep falling in love with you deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And if they chose someone else over you, because here's the thing, I feel like they were used to Queen of Swords kind of energy. You know, they were used to somebody who was, uh, this Queen of Swords, she can be very harsh. She can be very cold. She can be very unfeeling. She can be bitter, straight to the point. You know, um... She's not the most nurturing person in the deck, all right? So I feel like that's what they were used to, though. They weren't used to an earth angel. Oh, my gosh. They, di they didn't know what hit them. I feel like that's what this is. When they met you, they didn't know what hit them. 
and they didn't know what to do with you. And it scared them and it intimidated them. And I think they went to somebody else or they stayed with somebody else because it was what they were used to. Okay. And now they're feeling heartbroken and whoever they're with knows it. And there's no way that she can go from Queen of Swords energy into Earth Angel energy. She's not an Earth Angel. She's not you, Collective. And no one's going to make them feel the way that you do. The way you still make them feel this way. Okay? You still do. Because you left your energy behind. Like you left, you left traces of of that beautiful energy behind and that's what you're supposed to do as an earth angel okay that's the kind of thing that you were like created for is to inspire other people to touch them in ways that no one else can and that's exactly what you did yeah i'm getting the chills all over me Ooh, you could be a sagittarius aquarius Yeah, see, and they put this person was nasty to you. They were harsh to you. They didn't, they underestimated you. They didn't think that you were worthy. They thought that they were better than you. They were possibly very arrogant. They, gave, they could have said nasty things to you, cut you out cold, right? Gave you an, a cold, harsh cut off. Um, they didn't, they acted like they didn't care, okay? They were very arrogant. I mean, this person completely dogged you out. They did. And they put you out in the cold like you were nothing, like you were worthless. But you're not worthless. As a matter of fact, you're spirit's special one. Here to inspire other people and teach them about spirituality and love. Okay, they didn't realize you were, you were an earth angel. Now they do. I feel like they could have even been in a commitment with this Queen of Swords, okay? Uh, the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. That neither one of these two get along with each other. They, they, it's tit for tat. Um, if they're talking at all to this Queen of Swords, it's, it's like um, cut downs, okay? These two are constantly arguing, probably about you. And now all this person can do is, is they, like, look back and remember how they treated you. And, you know, here's the thing, though. They're actually in King of Cups energy, extremely emotional on the, on the inside, feeling, um, feeling sad, feeling heartbroken, Three of Swords, realizing they were wrong about you, realizing they should have never judged you, carrying this, these are the burdens they're carrying around with them. The things that they said, the ways that they treated you, because now, now this person realizes exactly who and what you are, okay? You're not of this world, you're a blessing, you were a blessing sent to them from the divine. And they turn their nose up at you, thinking you were nothing. Okay, yeah, now they want to change their mind. Now they want to come back around, okay? Yeah, now they want this victory, but here's the thing. I, I feel like you don't see them in the same light. You know how this person treated you, and Spirit has shown you a great many things about um, what happened. Your intuition, I feel like you were right. Yeah, you're too intuitive. See, now they want to come back in, but I feel like spirit is the one um, putting the sword in. They're, I feel like you're being protected from this person now. But they're also very sneakily paying somebody else to get information on you while they're in another commitment with someone else. Okay? It's a mess. It is. But you're not really a part of it. Yeah, see, they created this uh, competition. Yeah, see, you're not, you're not a part of it. You're blocking this out. As an earth angel, I feel like you know your worth. You probably stopped talking to this person the second that you intuitively figured out what was going on, okay? You intuitively knew, possibly, that you were being put in a third party. So you stopped 
all communication with this person. And I feel like that was before you even realized you were an earth angel. Okay, which tells me that you had some self-respect. Okay, you had standards. You walked in integrity and strength before you even knew who you were. Okay, I feel like that's, that triggered you to start this process of finding out who you really are. Okay, but yeah, you it's almost like you passed a test before you knew you were being tested. That's usually how it goes, though. And now you're being protected. Okay, you're being protected from this person. I feel like they can't come in anymore because if they do, well, number one, with three swords staring me in the face here, this person clearly has broken your heart and betrayed you. Okay, and they thought of you as nothing. All right. And um, it's also showing me that they're not ending things with this Queen of Swords, which means if they come back in now, especially in with arrogance, okay, um, it's going to create another third party. So, um, yeah, and Spirit doesn't want you in a third party. They don't want you being breadcrumbed. They don't want you being treated like an option. They don't want you being betrayed. So I feel like this person now is they're out and and the end of their cycle they're um they're in 10 of swords and 10 of wands and in the beginning of your cycle you're getting blessed with the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles a brand new beginning and the love that you deserve because you're a light worker because you've always had standards and self-respect you know you weren't about third parties. Yeah, and here comes the chaos, the drama. And I feel like, yeah, and here's the thing. You're an empress. Look at this person as a complete and utter fool. You could be dealing with the fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe a Virgo. Um, I'm also getting Pisces energy as well. But yeah, you're, uh, you're being put on a pedestal by the divine. You're being shown to everybody exactly who you are. It's kind of being shoved in this person's face. The way they misjudged you and underestimated you, it's being shoved in their face of who you actually are. Because spirit has put you on some kind of pedestal. You could have your have like your own public speaking platform or... You don't even have to be a public speaker. You could be doing anything that inspires people and raises their vibrations, okay? Anything. It could be anything at all. You could, be, you could make donuts, right? Say you're, you're a donut maker. You know, you don't think it's any big deal. You know what I mean? But, man, when you're making those donuts, you're making them with love. And you're feeding that love to everybody who eats your donuts. I mean, it's like that. You don't have to be a star, in the spotlight on a stage to be a light worker okay so yeah whatever it is you're doing though um, it's being shown to everyone somehow that you are the true divine feminine you are um, every queen in the deck you're the empress and this person thought you were nothing that's being shoved in there. They're having their nose rubbed in it, okay? Basically, spirit is rubbing their nose in this, um, teaching them a lesson. And they are learning a lesson. They may be fighting this because I feel like they just, right now, they really just want to be jealous. They don't want to admit that they were wrong, really, you know? Um, they, even though they're being shown, they're feeling like a fool, there may be other people fighting them as well because they can see that you were the empress, that you were every queen in the deck. You know, I just feel like this person is getting their, ro their nose rubbed in this. <laughs> Let me say that again. They're getting their nose rubbed in this. Yes. All right, so let's get your advice. I feel like, you know what, just keep shining. Just keep shining. Yeah, look, they're jealous. They're in a lot of chaos and conflict. That's what this is. Chaos and conflict. B 
being all kinds of jealous, that was the second card out. Carrying these burdens, it's their, it's their problem. You always knew your value. They didn't. That's on them. This is their fault. It's their problem. And you were innocent, too. Yeah, see, now they want to come chasing after you, but spirits like, you know what? Use your intuition. Okay, so this person is about to come forward, I feel, but here's the thing. They're still with the Queen of Swords. They may still, they may be in a marriage, okay? Um, yeah, and Spirit has better things for you. There, I feel like you've been working on releasing this connection, releasing the pains from the past, all the burdens and the baggage of what people put you through, and Spirit is blessing you for this. So you're about, Spirit's like, look, this person's coming in. This is what Spirit's saying. This person's coming in because they're jealous, they're enraged, and it's uh, too, it's chaotic, right? So use your intuition collective because there's something better for you that's coming, okay? Yep, and you know it too. Yes, you know it. Look, you have a loyal heart coming to you. Somebody who's not going to just pass judgment on you thinking that they're better than you, okay? Somebody who's not going to be jealous and envious when you're out here doing good. Somebody who's going to know your value and give you respect and consideration and loyalty and dedication. So this is what you have coming to you. And you know it. You know it. So you're moving. Yep, you're releasing this. It's time to go. Releasing this connection. And you're moving into a whole new cycle. You're leaving all of this negative energy, the burdens, the baggage, the worries, the fears, the sadness right? Um, you're leaving that behind. You're straightening your crown here and you're stepping into a whole new cycle. And when you do that, when you release this person and walk away, that's when the real, the real deal comes in, okay? Yeah, this is the real Slim Shady. They're coming in um, to love you the right way. I love you too, darling. Have a great day. Bye. Sorry, I had to say goodbye to my kid. Um, so anyway, yeah, just know that, um, yeah, you, both of these people, there's two people coming in. This person from your past, they're not even single yet. They're still with a bitter queen of swords that they chose over you. Okay, okay, 